what's going on everybody welcome to always occupied home and product reviews today we are going to do some adjustment on the fence but before i get to that i had some questions about this nikio set that i got uh back in october i think it was october they want to know how is it lasting they want to see some work done on it so right now i have these nuts right here that i got to take off of this fence and also i have my impact drill nobody asked nothing about this yet but this is the almost four inch impact drill mini and we are going to take off the hardware with these tools so we're going to get into that all right also the reason why i'm changing the fence is because it's been warped so the edge of this fence hits here so what i'm gonna do is cut this fence maybe like an inch off that way i could give it some good clearance for uh future warping and stuff like that so enjoy the video okay you guys so pretty much everything in here is still in good condition the only thing i have been using was the 19 millimeter and i've been using this for my lug nuts so just a little bit of scratches and you know this is painted right here the end is you can see it scratch a little bit but it's still there um on the back of it it's engraved in here also so you don't have to worry about the 19 millimeter actually going away it's engraved right there so if this 19 scratches off you already have one engraved so you know so this is the main one i've been using but right now we are going to take the fence off so we are going to use different ones for me none nothing has you know broken cracked or anything so for me it's still working pretty good 13 millimeter I don't know if I want to spray paint it or get some new hardware for it. And the problem is I just left Lowe's and I don't feel like going back to Lowe's. So I might look on Amazon to get some hardware for it. So stay tuned to that. All right, you guys, let me hold the back and then take it off in the front. And we off. Put that back in so I don't forget. And this is what we're gonna cut. We are gonna cut a line right here where this wood was split and we're just gonna cut it off and that will be it. Okay, you guys, so just a tip, tip if you're doing uh, fencing or something by yourself, if you need it lift higher, because I want to lift my fence higher, get yourself a little block or two of them, one on one side, one on the other, balance it yourself, and then drill your screw in. I'm going to get a block for the other side, and now I'm going to get a level, put the level on to make sure our door is level. Wow, y'all will not believe this. This thing is leveled. And I put one brick right there and nothing over here. So this thing gonna have to be lift up even more because I am all the way on the floor over here. And that's the issue we having. Okay, you guys, so we are about to put the left side up and we're gonna balance and level and that'll be it. Before I was using a 13 millimeter, I got the half inch just to use different ones. And that's why I moved y'all back away. When people put doors up, it is get it gets kind of complicated. People just think they could just throw a door up and blah, blah, blah. It's good. No, it's a lot of leveling in it. The issue I'm having is this uh, post right here is going this way like this. It's, it's in the angle. I don't even need a level for that. If you have the door real close to the post, the door will be in the angle. This is lasting. 
nut. And that's about it. Let me go ahead and put this hardware in and then we're done.